The new North Carolina Cancer Hospital provides for the Department of Radiation Oncology a nice expansion of our clinic space. Uh, we're enlarging the number of exam rooms for our patients, which will enable us to see more patients and to see our patients in a more timely fashion. We also have uh, some new equipment in terms of uh, examination equipment for our patients with head and neck cancer. We'll have some additional uh, fiber optic scopes uh, to better examine uh, the patients. We have a beautiful new facility with uh, uh, increase in the amount of parking that we have for the patients and a nice uh, waiting area uh, and a nice expanded clinic space to overall improve the patient experience. This is one of our new radiation machines. This is the Artiste. This is a very modern machine that has uh, very advanced technologies that help us better care for our patients. It has intensity modulated radiation therapy, which is a way of us better shaping the radiation therapy field so it, the radiation dose can better uh, conform to the shape of the tumor target. It also comes with image guided radiation therapy. This is a way of enabling us to take pictures of the patient either before the radiation treatment is delivered or even during the radiation treatment so that we can assure the patient is positioned properly so that the radiation can hit the appropriate area. This enables us to better control the tumor and also to reduce the risk to the normal tissues that are adjacent to the tumor. This is another one of our radiation machines. This is called a radiation simulator. This is where we take patients for a dry run of their radiation treatment before we actually deliver the treatment. So this machine has the same geometry as a regular radiation treatment machine, but instead of delivering high doses of radiation, it uses a very low energy radiation, much like when you go to get a chest x-ray done patient would lie on this table and this machine uh, makes radiation, low energy radiation, enables us to take pictures of the patient to be sure that we're aiming the radiation appropriately for the patient. There are two main ways to deliver radiation. One is from the outside in. The radiation is aimed from a machine that aims radiation that comes into the patient. That's how most patients are treated. We call that external beam radiation. The other way to give radiation is from the inside out where you take a radioactive device and you put it actually inside of the patient, inside of their mouth, for example, or inside the uterus or vagina for a cancer of the cervix or the uterus. That's called radiation implants. This machine is specifically designed to help, to help plan radiation implants. So a patient who's about to have an implant, we would place the radiation devices inside of the patient, but then before delivering the radiation, we would take pictures on this machine to simulate the treatment to make sure that the radiation devices are positioned appropriately inside the patient, to make sure the radiation goes to the places it needs to go, and also to make sure that we minimize the dose of radiation to go to the neighboring structures. This machine rotates around the patient so that we can look at the patient from any direction. So we can look at uh, the patient from the side or from the front by moving this machine around. This table also rotates so the patient on the table can be rotated while the radiation source up here is being rotated as well. So by rotating this machine and this machine to different directions, we can simulate a radiation beam coming into the patient from any number of directions. What I'm most looking forward to in the new cancer hospital is to be able to deliver for our patients uh, the most up-to-date uh, and modern radiation techniques so that we can better take care of our patients.